Ah, uh, yes, you've uh, I've been, we've been expecting. Ow! Have we been expecting me? Hello, Tyler and or Squill or whoever else might be watching this video. Give me a moment while I pick my nose. So for those that are just watching this channel wondering what the hell this is, I'm essentially applying for a thing called Who Wants to Be a Gillian- Get that off the screen! I'm essentially for calling- applying for something called Who Wants to Be a Gillionaire? Which is unbelievably something that's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire but in video game form. This is by a creator I've watched for a very long time. There's a questionnaire I must answer here including What is your name? Or rather, what do you want to be called? Well, my name is, uh, Chris. I would like to be called Lord- I would like to be called Lord of the Realm though, please. My age is ambiguous. I, uh, I have no age as I am, um, a, an internal being. I'm actually just 21 years old. My favorite game series of all time is probably a toss-up between The Legend of Zelda and I really, really, really enjoy Animal Crossing as well. <gasps> With, uh, Wind Waker being my favorite Zelda game for a very long time, but I think it's been changed to the Breath of the Wild because it is a very enjoyable game. What is your least favorite game or series? I should have probably put some thought in these questions before answering them. Uh, I, I guess Call of Duty is the first thing that pops to my mind. Not that I hate it, but I, I well, I guess I do kind of hate it just because it's the same damn game every single year or six months or whatever it comes out. I don't know, but that's kind of a very common opinion, I guess, and it's kind of a boring answer, but that's all I got for you. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm so boring. What was the first video game console you ever owned? What is the fa first video game? What was the first video game console you ever owned? Uh, short answer, GameCube, long answer. I used to have, I got this thing when I was like four or five called a Digivice from the show Digimon. From the first season of that show, I'll need, it would be a little thing like the size of maybe like the size of your palm and you'd shake it. That, that, that looks fine. That's a normal motion. Don't worry about it. And you'd have a little pixel creature that would walk on it and occasionally you get in battles and it would literally be just you press a button and that's it. And sometimes you'd lose and you get sent back a bunch and you have to shake it some more. The shaking would indicate walk. I gotta stop doing that. What I'm most familiar with the GameCube stuff is as my first console. I played a lot of the N64, but I never owned it because my parents were poor as hell. Let's go for one to 10. How would you rate your knowledge of video games and why? What I watched some of the um, old videos. Actually, I just watched the recent one of uh, Who Wants to Be a Gillionaire, and there's a lot of questions that are like, I don't know, Persona pops into mind. There's a few other games I didn't even recognize the name of. Um, I know a lot about Nintendo, a little bit, of, well, a moderate amount of like normal PC games. Normal, I don't know what that means, but like games, anything like PlayStation and Xbox exclusive, I don't know a whole lot of unless I've seen Let's Plays of it on YouTube, which is more like the famous games, I guess. I don't know, I guess like first person shooters I would say is my general weakest, uh, my weakest genre of knowledge, so I would base it on maybe 6 or 7, so that, I, I mean, a, a straight 10, I will 100% beat Gillianer without using a single lifeline. Tell me a short story about a fun experience you've had with any game. Oh, I don't know about that. Shit, dude, what the fuck do I say about that? What the hell do I tell for a fun experience? Should I just make something up? Fun experience I've had with a Vidge game. I don't have an answer to that. I really don't. I could tell some random stories. When I was let's playing Super Mario Galaxy 2, the Grandmaster Galaxy, I recorded that let's play for like, or sorry, I recorded that one level for like six hours straight of me trying to beat it and I punched a hole in my ceiling. That was fun. Yeah, a pure anger rage. One time I played Animal Crossing Wild Worlds when I was a little BB child. I finally caught a shark for the very first time after like months of trying. I was so excited. And with the original DS, the issue was right above the D-pad, there was actually the power button there for some reason, instead of being in a normal spot, like on the bottom or something. So what I thought was I was pressing up on the D-pad, I was actually pressing the power button, I turned it off, and I didn't save it, and that made me very sad. There was also this one time I played SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, which, fantastic game and very, uh, versusable, by the way. A wasp attacked me. I was just sitting on my bed playing, also I heard a bzzz, and a, a wasp flew at my face. I freaked out. <laughs> and I looked outside and it turned out there was a huge ass hive right above my windowsill and I had no idea how it got there or how long it was there, but there's a bunch of wasps in there. And to this day, whenever I play that game, I get PTSD flashbacks of wasps. I guess the best experience I had though was when I was around 12, my parents left town and they left me in charge of the house for a couple days. Um, I just played video games all day. I remember that was the first time I was playing Ocarina of Time for the first time. Sorry, my throat's all scratchy. I was playing Ocarina of Time for the very first time on my, uh, Wii. 
And also remember, I also played a lot of Animal Crossing that weekend as well. And it was just like a weekend of just me sleeping in the living room on the floor, playing video games like 3 a.m. in the morning. And those were that was a fantastic weekend. And watching a lot of One Piece. I watched a lot of One Piece in those days. So that's what I got for you. Hopefully that appeases you in this application progress. Yeah, excitement! Personality! Price is Right shirt I crafted myself. That's a that's a better story. I made this for when the Price is Right came to my city. I live in Canada, so nothing happens here except in Toronto. But I don't live in Toronto, so the, so so hopefully does this shirt win me a spot? Please, it's a, it's a, it's actually a picture of you, Tyler. It's actually a picture of you, Tyler. Join me. Give yourself a kiss, Tyler. Give yourself a kiss, Tyler. Also, I'm really feeling it. Mr. Krabs.